Hi everyone, it's Alicia Rivera and this is my upload for um, Moses, the fire that consumes and consecrates. Um, this was, you know, very powerful. I've been in uh, conferences where, you know, we go through that fire tunnel and Pastor Lynn plays um, Kathleen Carnelli fire and it's such a powerful time. Um, the anointing is heavy and um, the Holy Spirit really, you know, does uh, great things um, with regard to deliverance and healing um, in that fire tunnel. And so um, just reading about God's all-consuming fire and how, you know, when when we're going through life you know god will um take us to places where um he needs to burn away you know a lot of things impurities that we have within us um so that he can release his purpose for our lives and so you know i've been through it many times and i know god's not done with me yet uh, and so here, just reading about Moses, how, you know, God could not use Moses because of some of the things he had within his spirit, you know, being self-centered, self-empowered, um, his, his vision was way too small. He wanted to save just one man where God really had him, um, set up to deliver an entire nation and, um, the results that. Moses brought about was you know basically nothing you know so he had to come to a place where all of that was being burned away so that God can use him for a greater purpose and so you know I thought it was tremendous to read how God did not speak until Moses turned to look at him and so for us you know we need to acknowledge God um, it's it's a, a, a sign of reverence as it states here um, to take off your shoes and I mean not that we physically take off our shoes but you know to be in reverence to him and to allow ourselves to be vulnerable and to then once you hear from God to respond to him which is very important um, and, you know, scripture says we draw near to God and he draws near to us. We are the ones who initiate that. We drawing nearer to God first and then he draws near to us. So once we acknowledge God and we allow ourselves to be vulnerable and we respond to God, you know, he can then release a greater purpose for us in life. Um, and as before he does that, of course, we have to go through the fire, which is a very painful process because we're, we're letting go of so many things that, you know, we think are, um, we need. Um, and you know, when, when the Bible speaks about the, the threshing floor and how you put wheat there and you beat it until, you know, the chaff comes loose and you throw it up in the air. So the wind takes it away or, you know, you somehow separate it and you keep the good stuff, you know, the seed and the chaff is then left behind and the chaff is burned away to clean the threshing floor. So all of those things that we don't need, like the chaff is going to be burned away so that, that whatever is left God can then use and he'll consecrate what we have um, so that he can use us for a greater purpose and so moving along um, the revelation that God gives us is when we are broken when we are vulnerable when we can hear from him because usually when we're going on our own strength we really don't hear from God, but when we're ready to listen and we're in that broken place and we leave ourselves vulnerable, God can then reveal to us um, his purpose for our lives. And so a um, couple of other songs that I researched, um, You Won't Relent um, by Misty Edwards is a really nice song. Um, Burning Me by Paul Wilbur, um, All Consuming Fire. Um, again by Missy Edwards 
Um, these are some other songs that can be used that have to do with, you know, relenting to the Lord and um, allowing his all-consuming fire to cleanse us and purify us, um, to be baptized in his, in his holy fire and to be immersed in his fire, which represents like a death to yourself and, you know, uh, you, and then living for God. And so we need to put aside all of our selfishness and allow God to fill us. And so it also states here we must be crafted by God. Um, the secret place of his crafting is the fire of his presence. Uh, we enter the fire of his presence as we worship. Uh, the scripture says, present your bodies as a holy sacrifice acceptable to God. Um, to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. These are all scriptures that we, we hold close to our hearts as worshipers um, so that we can be used as a tool for the Lord. So for me, the reflection question, as you dance before the Lord, how do you invite him to consume and consecrate with the fire of his presence? I like to empty myself of anything that 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 is me um and allow the holy spirit to overtake me um because anything that is me it it, it i don't feel can be used for his holy purpose it's god that needs to fill me and to to orchestrate his word to the people and um, it's only, you know, if, I, if I'm bringing forth some worship personal to, for me to God, that, you know, I, my, my own personal, you know, spirit comes into it. But other than that, um, I really like to empty myself of everything so that the Holy Spirit can use me. And that's only through prayer um, and just um, releasing you know, uh, relenting to just allow yourself to be used, giving up your yourself so that you can allow God to use you. And um, with the the activations, I, I mean, you can approach it a lot of different ways. You can have um, groups, you know, six, seven, larger groups to represent um, Moses at the burning bush, um, to represent, you know, maybe being cleansed by a fire. Um, but I really, I don't know how to, to um, make anything new out of that fire tunnel. It's just so powerful, um, the fire tunnel, or maybe it can be done as a circle or an arc where the people are allowed to go through and rid themselves of um, things that God needs to burn away. And, you know, that to me is a, a very powerful activation in itself. So um, with that said, thank you and God bless.